And Israel said to Joseph, I had not thought to see your face, and behold, God has let me see your children also. Genesis 48, 11. Joseph was the son of Jacob, though it was in the time of the patriarchs, when Jacob loved Joseph best among all his sons. It was Joseph who received his father's special gift. It was Joseph who dreamed dreams, Joseph who labored and toiled to great success, and Joseph who fed and harbored the entire household of his father Jacob in the time of famine. Joseph brought all of Israel to Egypt to save them, and it was Joseph's bones that Moses carried out of Egypt when he led the people away from the Pharaoh who did not know Joseph. See Exodus 13, 19, 1, 8. Joseph was the son of Jacob, though it was again as the fullness of time approached when Jacob's son Joseph would take Mary as his wife. It was Joseph who stood in the line of his father and his father's fathers back to David and Abraham. It was Joseph who dreamed dreams, Joseph who labored and toiled in silent humility, and Joseph who fed and harbored the savior of the world in days both of danger and of domestic tranquility. Joseph fled with Jesus and Mary to Egypt to save them, and it was Joseph who carried them home again when their exile came to an end. Joseph, son of Jacob, husband of Mary and foster father of Jesus, fulfills the role of his namesake under whose custodianship all of Israel, and indeed the whole world, was saved from ruin. St. Joseph, the faithful custodian of the word incarnate and spouse of the ever-Virgin Mary, guards the treasury of the world's hope. Under his patronage, the blessings of God redound to a thousand generations. He watches salvation grow. Joseph of old brought the age of the patriarchs to a close. St. Joseph held in his arms the one who makes all things new. See Revelation 21.5.